neighbors like that really suck if they're watching this which they might be like you suck dude it's such a dream killer my god that is an eyesore well i'm up with the birds today heading into the city for a segment on city line and uh it just so happens that dean is actually in columbia so with the time i have to leave to go and there's always a risk i could be late coming back like for school drop off and pick up my dad's being really sweet and he's gonna help me out today. So, you're gonna see my dad today. Have you been following the saga of that pool? Here's the long story short. It's a stupid build your own pool that you, we got actually secondhand. Um, but because we have quite a long backyard, like we have many different backyard fences that we hit along with. So the trouble is that a few of them are not to code. So in order for us to have a pool, we have to have a fence either around it like our neighbors or um, a certain height from the ground or I don't know which is these tall brackets. Dean also had to build a ladder which you can sort of see back there. It's been this kind of silly thing that's been weighing heavy over Dean and I and so we're just both very excited to um, potentially get it all approved and just allow the kids to have a fun pool filled summer and it's ugly and oh but it's super fun once the water's in there. Um, so they come on Thursday. By law, we'll see what happens. I'll keep you posted. All right, now we're gonna make some lunches. Time check, 628, okay, we got this. I also forgot to take the garbage out last night, so I'll be doing that very soon. Too much, <laughs> too much, too, much, too, too much. long. And one day. Today's actually pizza day, so it's an easy day to make lunches. We got Esme. Jack, I don't know. I normally don't put double sweets in my lunch, but I'm at the end of my grocery list here, so I gotta do some grocery shopping. Uh, Jack will have a yogurt, maybe, and they have pizza, so easy peasy. And then of course we have some nice icy waters. All right, I'm on my way, all dressed. I got my new thrifted, new to me, little thrifted blouse. I love this thing. Got my, I feel like my very 90s vibe going on right now. And I'm heading into the studio. I just have a very short segment and then I'll be on my way back. So let's go. It's a long drive for a short segment, but I really enjoy doing them. So fun. <laughs> Egg bites, of course, the one with bacon and a tall latte with one pump of vanilla. Delish. I left my breakfast on the counter this morning, so that's great. <laughs> We're getting a car wash. <laughs> Honestly, for a second, I thought I was moving. That freaked me right the fuck out. <laughs> um, I get an odd anxiety about being in a car wash. I hate it, but my car is disgusting. So I'm also trying to like not spend money. So I did the cheapest car wash. Filming's done. I forgot my lunch. I've been so good at like bringing food, but I got myself a habanero chicken wrap from Tim Hortons. What I like about these wraps is um, they're very filling. And I go with slow cooked chicken and it's just like filling. It's not French fries, you know, like it's kind of healthy. Anyway. All right, well, I'm gonna enjoy my car wash, listen to Dateline, and uh, I still have another like 45 minutes in the car, but food will help. Oh, and I even got myself, I know some of you guys are haters of um, uh, Red Bulls, but I love, me, I love me an energy drink, and this one is the apricot strawberry. Okay, bye. school stuff. Always do the lunches. Anyone else excited about not having to make a lunch for several weeks? Because I sure am. Lord. Dolly, you want a treat? One for you? One for you. Alright, well. Ooh. So my dad is here. Um, 
He basically just sat here for the day, just in case I can get back on time, which I did. Anyway, so tonight we're going to have dinner together. He actually hasn't been out to visit in a little bit. I'm not entirely sure why. I think I've been spending a lot of time in Toronto, which is where he lives with my aunt and her family. And so he's been seeing me there. So like, I feel like we keep seeing each other. So for tonight, I've got like a really easy dinner. Like I said, we're having a little break, dinner, and then we're off to Esme's soccer game. So Alfredo sauce, we have the fusilli. And then these were on sale, beer battered fillets from Highliner. Yeah, how many are in here? I got two, cause he was like, you know what? I'm not entirely sure. I'm having a beer with my dad. We still have like two hours till soccer so we can have a beer and then be fine to drive. You know what I mean? Also, I really like this shirt. I thrifted this shirt recently from Value Village. It's just a blouse. And I think sometimes if you just look at it on a hanger, you're like, this was something maybe like a grandma wore. But once you pair it with a cute pair of jeans, it works. Best news ever. The permit got approved for my pool. So the neighbor that called on me can go have fun in a lake. <laughs> oh, what a dream. Imagine them thinking they were gonna stop my summer fun. Think again, think again. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna turn that on. We're gonna have the time of our life. Well, I am spent. So this was a wake up at like, okay, maybe it wasn't even that early, six or something, but it's early for me. Like I tend to wake up at 7.20. So that additional hour and a bit, it's quite early. Um, I really enjoy going on to that morning show and just morning shows in general, but it's such a fun part of my job. I love doing it. it gets me like a little bit, um, it's a little bit nerve wracking just before, but then it's so exhilarating and such great people I get to chat with. So I just love doing it, even though it's a bit of a hike. I just love it. I am so relieved that the pool situation has been sorted. Like that was causing me a lot of stress for those of you that were following me on, follow me on Instagram. You kind of seen the play by plays, but basically the long story short is that I'm assuming because I don't know for sure, but a neighbor called bylaw because a bylaw officer showed up one day and asked to inspect our pool. I'm pretty certain I know who it is because there's only one thing that's changed in four years for my neighbors. So anyway, the part that's really disappointing is that neighbors like that really suck. If they're watching this, which they might be like, you suck, dude. It's such a dream killer. If you really had a concern, you could have come talk to us. You know what I mean? It makes no sense. I'm not going to get into it too much because I don't want to like cause myself more stress. You know what I mean? So essentially somebody called bylaw on us. We have a fully fenced in yard. And the irony is that the reason that our pool wasn't up to date is because shared backyard fences, there's a few of them that are not up to code. So the irony is that this dumbass called bylaw on us, but then when we ask certain neighbors and one of them is the person who called to go and fix the fence, they won't. What? So like they won't go halfers on the fence, they won't fix it. So then I can't have my pool because your stupid freaking fence. I wanted to use a bad word, but I won't. Oh, I really do though. So anyway, I don't know if they thought that that little phone call was gonna stop us. Cause I don't know if you met Amanda and Dean, but we don't want shit like that stop us. Oh no, we do not. Where there's a will, there's a way. And in fact, the bylaw officer was like, this is unconventional, but I am impressed. <laughs> because Dean was like, not today, sir. So he built it all up to code and it looks great. And he's like, I said, it's a bit of an eyesore. He's like, you could paint it white, like have fun with it, whatever. He was a good guy. I shook his hand. I was like, thank you so much. You just made my kids summer. Like you're awesome. So, and I went in the house and I went, woohoo. And I screamed really loud. And I'm like, I hope he heard. I hope he knows that like, he really just made our day. And like, he was just doing his job, but I was convinced that a previous bylaw officer had it out for us. Maybe he didn't, maybe it was all in my head. Although I said something, but this is just such a relief for this to be done. Like as the default parent who is home a lot with just the kids and who's like, I'm really trying not to spend money this summer, um, having our pool 
like a free activity, although water is expensive, but a free activity in the backyard that brings endless joy. Oh, I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight knowing that this is, is not a stressor. So thank goodness, anyhow. Because I don't know how much footage I actually got today, let's just roll this into tomorrow. You know, we'll do like a day in the life where I'm on the road in Toronto and then stuff that I do when I'm home because I was away this past weekend. So I'm a little bit behind on things like laundry. My husband does not keep up the house to my standards. I try not to nag him about it, but like there's stuff I got to do. And so let's just do that tomorrow. Cool beans cool beans. Dean needed some special things for the pool so I can only fill the pool up actually to where you see that guy because there are some holes right there in the gray. Anyway that's where um, Dean needs to fill it up. Anyway and then you can see there's like all of the little maple thingies in the pool and so that'll get all skimmed out once it's filled. That'll be a damn icy pool for a little bit. Uh, yeah so that's happening. And now that that's officially happening and our warm season is in full swing, I wanna just finish up what I wanna do on the deck here. So I have a carpet that goes under um, this table here. And then you'll notice like I have two, one here and one there, just covered in pollen. God. Anyway, so one of those is actually gonna go by the pool and that's where all of the pool things go in. So like the floaties and just pool stuff that I don't want in my face all summer. So I'm gonna have that down by the pool, I think. I just gotta figure out where I wanna put it. I just feel such a sense of peace that I don't have to worry about that, that we can just live our life this summer and have a great time. I was super spicy yesterday wanting to like write stuff on the, I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm actually not gonna be spicy at all. I'm just gonna exist. The chances are with someone like that, um, they might try to call bylaw on us again, you know? And I don't wanna give them any reason to, I don't know, just cause more problems for me this summer. Fresh coffee. I like just a little bit of sugar. Oh, it out. Some creamer. So good. Just had a morning catch up with my sister. You know, it's so wild. Like sometimes she watches my videos. So if you're watching, just know I love you. Of course I do. Um, but it's so interesting to have a sister with such a big age gap because when she and I were younger, like we're 10 years apart, she was just my baby sister. You know, like I took care of her. I was a little mama to her. I took her on so many adventures. Like, honestly, I'm just that person. You know, I, I was the person that I needed when I was that age, you know? And so it's such a special relationship. And so now as she is embarking on her journey into motherhood, so she is 30 weeks pregnant. I believe she just told me on the phone. So exciting. So I was just at her place for a baby shower and seeing her embark on this journey and being able to support her is so rewarding. And it's just so lovely to love someone who loves you back. Oh, that makes me teary. And it's also one of these relationships that I treasure so much because I remember when she was young, thinking to myself, having conversations with my dad, who is not her dad, we have different dads. But I remember talking about her and being like, oh my God, when I'm this age, like I remember this when Esme was early days, like a baby, um, which if you think about it, like I was 27 when Esme was born, Kaylin was only 17. So like, yeah, she's around and supporting, but she's 17 years old, you know, like this is, she, she was not like my go-to for support. I was still very much her big, big sister. Um, she was living her best teenage life, which let me tell you, when you grow up in the country is quite wild, but yeah, like it was just different. So I remember saying to my dad, like, oh my God, when I'm, you know, at a point where Kaylin is ready to start having children, my God, I can't wait for that relationship because it's like, it's like the time and the age sort of dis disappear and all of a sudden you're on equal footing. And what's so lovely is that there was a shift in the last few years where now I can go to her for support and I can share, you know, these girls, and I can share, that's my dog in the background if you can hear that, but like I can share with her when I need guidance and you know, there is enough life experience now on that side where she can actually support me. And it's so wonderful because I think in many ways, I, 
sorry, I had to pause to collect my emotions. But in many ways, I've been like floating the earth alone, a little bit untethered. I haven't had the strongest connection with my siblings. I have a brother too, it's just different, you know? And I've lived far away for a long time. And so it is just so incredible to have that space with my sister. She holds space for me and I hold it for her. And we connect and we just love each other. And it's just, it's honestly such an incredible relationship and I'm so grateful. So we like to have little chats a few times a week in the morning and you know, shoot the shit, give each other updates. And then we spend time with each other. Like I've been out to Ottawa a ton and then um, hopefully she'll come out here once more before the baby arrives, but we'll just have to play it by ear. But it's just so great. Like if you have siblings that you connect with, tell me about them, leave me a comment. I mean, it's just such, when it works, it's awesome. There's some things going on on this table, but part of it is lunch. Leftover fish from last night. I had a bag of salad in the fridge, so I made half of it for myself and a protein smoothie. I just finished a really great workout. I'm really into boot camps at the moment. So it's like weights and cardio. So I just did a running boot camp and I try to balance out the running with the spinning because you know it can kind of wear and tear on your hips and knees. So I'm just a little bit mindful of that but it kicks my ass in 30 minutes, which is exactly what I need. So my day is cruising along a little behind schedule. Um, tonight we do have soccer and stuff, so I don't know if that's happening because last night our soccer game was canceled because of poor air quality. I'm wondering if that's gonna happen tonight too. I'm thinking yes. My dog is such a dick that I have to sit out here and watch her while she tries to find a spot to pee. The little one, the big one is not. She's a lovely baby. She's sitting right here sunning herself while this one combs the massive backyard of mine <laughs> to find the perfect pee spot, God damn it! Anyway, yeah, I was like this close to having our soccer evening canceled, but uh, the air quality is better today. And actually the sky is blue, so it's much better today. Anyway, so soccer's on. I've got not one, but two things of soccer this evening. One at six, one at eight. So it's a busy night. I had all these plans to like clean up the house. It didn't happen. Sometimes, yeah, I don't know. I feel like sometimes Dean forgets that um, I work and I don't just manage the house, throwing a little bit of shade his way, but it's a funny thing in relationships where like there's just these expectations that exist of our partners. And I do the same to him. Like when I came home this weekend, I was so annoyed, like every toilet, paper in the house like there was no toilet paper in any of the bathrooms but yet right beside the toilet is a basket of toilet paper so I was like what the f um anyway I don't know we all come with like pros and cons <laughs> like a pros and cons list as human beings you know anyway it's just relationship dynamics can be really tricky when you have um a partner that travels and I don't know, sometimes we forget what our partners do on the regular when it comes to like home responsibilities. Anyways, I digress. I put a lot of pressure on myself to keep things at a certain level. And so like with my being away this weekend, I was, I was already kind of telling you like everything is off kilter and it's just frustrating. Ugh, cause you feel like you're just jumping from fire to fire instead of like just life being easier, you know? So anyway dogs watching Jack and Dean play football in the road. Got backpacks all good. What are you barking at? Come sit then. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come here, Dolly. Let's go. You can do it. You literally jump on the bed. What are you going to do? <gasps> there she is. Jeez Louise. Well, I got to admit, yesterday, I think I shared a little bit uh, about Jack's soccer situation that happened at the set, um, where, like, basically out of a four-quarter game, he only played two times. Um, I think it should be more like three, so I don't know why that happened. And he played goalie twice, so he didn't actually run around and kick a ball. And as it was happening, I feel like I'm repeating myself because I was talking about this on Instagram and everything. I could just see what was coming. And when you have, I wouldn't say like a highly sensitive kid. He's not like highly sensitive. He's just sensitive. And maybe like most kids, when you sign up for soccer, you want to play. So 
He didn't play. He didn't get to run around. I saw it coming like midway through the game. And I was on the sidelines like, do I jump in and talk to the coach? He's on the other side of the field. You're not really supposed to interfere. Jack's got to learn to be more assertive. Like there was a lot of emotions playing in. At the end of the day, I didn't say anything and I regret that. However, lessons were learned, you know? I did speak to the coach after the game and like kind of smoothed it over and was like, listen, like you're a volunteer coach. I appreciate what you do. Don't get me wrong. However, you know, I just, we need to make sure that each kid gets a chance to play and run around the field. You know, like my kid didn't dude. you know? And he goes, well, you know, I, I asked Jack and this and that. I was like, fair. So got to give him credit where credit's due. Like he did speak to Jack, but Jack got confused and didn't realize that there were no more opportunities to play. Like it was just a series of unfortunate events and it sucks because as a parent, you cannot fight every battle. You cannot prevent your child from disappointment. And I like literally, that's the hardest feeling for me to manage is disappointment. My stomach still hurts thinking about it. I just wish it didn't have to go that way. But honestly, I will tell you, like I struggle with disappointment for other people's children. Like it's just, it is a feeling I find very heavy. So, <sighs> I'm just letting it go. I, it's not worth following up with the coach. No, no, no. Like, or excuse me, like with the league. Absolutely not. You got to give him a chance, you know? So we spoke about it. My plan is next week, I'm going to show up early. Jack and I are going to work on how to communicate so that he has a better understanding of like how long these games are. Because I will say the indoor soccer league, I can see where there's confusion, right? The indoor soccer league, they rotate a lot more. I don't know why they're not rotating as much and as frequently in this league anyway I the more I think about it the more I get a headache it's so stupid and I like I it's just heavy it's just heavy feelings parenting is like tricky sometimes so anyway I will say we're gonna have a win this Sunday because Jack plays flag football and he's a very strong player and they are super organized like it's not volunteer coaches it's coaches that are like paid and they know what they're doing and it's really involved and so it's just a very different experience um anyway parenting am i right well thank you so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed this little two day well 2.5 day vlog and uh subscribe i'll catch you next week with a brand new video